Hey everybody, Rich here again with some retro computing goodness. This time we got Windows 98 Second Edition again. Here it is. And why am I doing another video on this? Well, it just so happens that there's more and more of you out there that are putting together vintage gaming rigs, vintage PCs specifically, that are running retro operating systems, or what's now considered retro, like Windows 98, and Windows 98 happens to be one of the best to use for MS-DOS gaming because you can run all the stuff, or almost all the stuff from MS-DOS, you can run all the stuff that ran in Windows 95, and obviously all the stuff that runs in Windows 98. So you get the best of all worlds. And it basically means that you have a ton of games you can run at your disposal. You could even run the original Half-Life, or StarCraft, or Diablo 2 in Windows 98. It will run it not very well, but it'll do it, and that's the whole point. I even have uh, SimCity 2000 in here. Uh -huh. Anyway, aside from all that, uh, the problem, particularly with the younger generation out there, is that they were literally born after this operating environment was released, so they really don't know much about it, so they have to rely on videos like the one you're watching now just to figure out how to do basic stuff in it. So I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks here, and so on, and we'll see how it all fares out. This is just going to cover some real basic stuff here. Now the first thing to remember is uh, we'll, we'll start with something easy, the MS-DOS prompt. Okay. There is no such thing as a command prompt in Windows 98 because the engine running the Windows environment is MS-DOS 7. So in order to get to it, it's start programs MS-DOS prompt. And you'll notice it is called all the way through MS DOS prompt, not command prompt. For example, if I go to start and then run and type in CMD, which is what you would do in XP, excuse me, 2000, XP, Vista, and 7, it doesn't exist. But if you type in the word command, C O M M A A N D, which is the command.com, not a website, the actual command file, that does launch the MS DOS prompt. So that's the command.com, uh, not execute, but the command, command. <laughs> and that's how you get to it. Now, as far as finding simple things out, like uh, what is your IP address, there is IP config from the MS-DOS prompt in Windows 98, which does work. There is also IP config space front slash ALL to give you more information. But usually the way people found out their IP address information and things like that is by clicking start and then run and typing in WIN IP CFG, WIN IP config for short, and this is a graphical representation of your IP address information. And to get the more, you just click more info, and it shows you all your stuff. You can release, renew, release all, renew all, and so on. <clears throat> now, as far as doing things such as basic navigation, the keystrokes that are in Windows 98 are more or less the exact same thing that are in modern Windows 7 now. If I want a Windows Explorer, not Internet Explorer, a Windows Explorer for file browsing, that's a flag key, which is the key on your keyboard with a Microsoft flag on it, to the left of your Alt key most likely, Win key for short, Win key E, and that brings up the uh, Windows Explorer. If I want to minimize everything, that's Win key M, if I want to, another one that does more or less the same thing is Win key D. D is in desktop to show the desktop. Win key D. Win key D. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so that's how to do that. Uh, browsing around. This is nothing that is unfamiliar to you. So you can, you know, expand and contract folders, go into my documents, whatever. Uh, however, the, from a technical point of view, I don't think there is an app data folder. No, app data folder does not exist in Windows 98. So now the app data folder, you know how in Windows 7 there's C and then users and then your username and all your stuff goes in there. That is not the way this environment does things. Everything is stuffed into the program files folder. And I don't even think there's a user profile folder in here. Let me try uh, percent user profile here. No, no user profiles either, at least, or. I don't know how Windows 98 does user profiles or if it even supports it. So I don't, but I don't think it has it. So you don't have any of that. And this is 
a lot, a lot of what people argued was made Windows so bad back in the day because its security was so awful. All you had to do was, you know, take a uh, without even loading the operating system. Once Windows started, you could press F8 or F5, get to the prompt, the DOS prompt, and then just browse the whole hard drive. <laughs> easily, which you can do. There's, uh, security in Windows 98 is a joke. I should note that up front. So if there's anything you're going to put on a Windows 98 computer that you care about at all, I would put it into a RAR or a zip file with a password on it. Uh, because if you throw it on here, if you expect any privacy whatsoever in Windows 98, it more or less does not exist. That's important to know. <laughs> Okay, other basic things here. Now, I've shown this in other videos, but I'm going to show this here. Is uh, I have two browsers in here, CMonkey119 and Chameleon154. We'll start with CMonkey. It does have multiple tab support, so if I press Control t I do get tabs, which is good. and go back and forth between them. And it can view most websites with no problem. This is essentially the equivalent of Firefox 2, more or less. Uh, as I said, this is CMonkey 119, and in order to get it, it's still available for download. CMonkey-project.org. Downloads and releases on the left. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Look for all this little teeny tiny text here, and you will see 1119. And then scroll, scroll. Now, of course, you get this warning. Oh, don't run this. It's not secure. Believe me, it's more secure than IE6. And then just go to official builds and you get the full installer here and install it in Windows 98 with no problem and go about your business. Now bear in mind this is a suite, meaning it's more than just a browser. You do have an email, you'll see this down here after install. You'll see the browser here, you'll see the mail and news groups for a simple email client here. Kind of works like Thunderbird does. You have a basic HTML web page editor which you probably won't be using address book and chatzilla and the chatzilla is cool that it comes bundled with it because that's IRC so you can launch that and you have a basic chat client and it will work and to note yes you can change the font in here it doesn't have to be Times New Roman the default name that it gives you is IRC monkey they thought that was funny and I guess it is to a degree but that is how you chat and uh, you can also run an old version of Merck if you want to. I have Merck 616 on here. I'm not going to show Merck because everybody knows what that looks like. That's CMonkey in a nutshell. There's also, let me just close this out, Chameleon 154. I actually prefer this browser over CMonkey, although I keep both on the system, because it seems to render web pages faster and better. Like CMonkey, it does have the ability to do multiple tabs with a control T to open a new tab. It switches between tabs faster too, by the way. Uh, close tab, there we go. So if I go to PC Mac, load that sucker up. Loads relatively quickly, looks the way it's supposed to. There's nothing here that's really uh, out of place that I can see. Seems to work okay. The only problem, per se, is that some websites will not work, and I'll give you an example of this. If I try to log in to Hotmail, okay, for you, you know something's going to go wrong right here when it sees, you see this. This is screwed up. But anyway, it will at least let me attempt to log in. And if I try that, I will get denied. Upgrade your browser. Your browser is a piece of crap and you should upgrade now. Try one of these things. Well, I can't because I'm running Windows 98, so Hotmail is out. But however, Yahoo Mail Classic will work. AOL Mail Classic will work, or Basic as they call it. Gmail Basic will work. Uh, Hotmail users, sorry, you're out of luck. But are you really? No, not really, because you could configure Outlook Express or the email client in CMonkey to access Hotmail via POP. So you could do it that way if you wanted to. If you really had to get your Hotmail inside Windows 98, an internet-connected Windows 98 computer, you could totally do it. But other than that, I can do more or less anything I want to do, more any site I want to visit in uh, Chameleon. It seems to work out okay. You know what? Actually, I didn't try it in CMonkey. We'll see if that one works. I doubt it, but we'll give it a go anyway.
Okay, we got that same funky flag problem over here. Fingers crossed. I seriously doubt it will work though. Nope. Upgrade your browser. Your browser is a piece of crap. Please use one of these. Now I also have the ancient Internet Explorer 6. Let's try that one. Just for kicks. If this works I'll be surprised. Internet Explorer 6 is the highest IE that um, Windows 98 will support. I do not recommend using this browser because it's pretty horrible. A lot of security holes and whatnot, but we'll see if it actually lets me log into Hotmail. Oh my god, it did! Well, son of a gun. Do you want to proceed? Yes, I do. Oh, can I do a new email and whatnot? It's really slow, but... Hey, it's letting me do it. Well, no kidding. Ah, it's giving me these problems. Well, there are problems with it, but... Okay. I think this is the first time I'm going to be recommending IE6 ever in my life. <laughs> and the only time. If you want to access your Hotmail <laughs> in Windows 98, use IE6. Otherwise, never use that browser. Ever! Okay, other than that, let's... Uh... Okay, we'll close this one. Come on, Sea Monkey, don't give me a problem. There we go. Close that one. There we go. Now we're back to the desktop. So as far as uh, installing other things, such as... Uh, mainly games, which is probably what you're going to use it for more than anything else. Um, there are times where you will have to uh, dump to DOS or exit to DOS. The way to do that is start, shut down, and then restart in MS-DOS mode. You can do it that way. Installing DOS games from within the Windows 98 environment sometimes works, but most of the time does not. So you should just be aware of that. Uh, other than that, if there are any questions, I will try to answer them at least if you have about the Windows 98 environment of what works, what doesn't work, what can be supported and what isn't supported, hardware and software and whatever. Uh, feel free to leave a comment either on the article this is posted on or on the YouTube uh, comment thread. I will do my best. I can't guarantee an immediate answer but I'll get to them if you have any about it. So feel free to ask away.